Well, good morning, everybody. Here we are Sunday morning. I don't know what's going on today. I'm just I'm totally lost. Totally lost. Um, read through Romans um, 8, 9, 10 uh, today. And uh, how can you possibly uh, express something that's... Uh, that, 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 that you experience in your spirit that at times um, can't be articulated. And I, I don't know how Paul um, was able to articulate what he did, but as we especially read through Romans 8, just the first part of it, which really needs to be, be read uh, consecutively with, with uh, Romans 7, 6, 7, and 8 really should be read together. And um, where Paul was describing that, that uh, a struggle that, that is found under the law when people are trying to um, live the law and the law is perfect and um, is, is from the spiritual realm and it is perfect and it's for the purpose of revealing a sin but doesn't have the power to overcome sin, doesn't have the power to get you to where you need to go. Um, and, 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 he, and he talks about that, that struggle of wanting to, to be where, we, where he wants to be, but not able to get there because the law can't, can't get him there. And, and the frustration of seeing what he wants to be, but not being able to be that. And what he doesn't want to be, that's what he ends up being. And uh, people consider that to be our struggle today. And it's not our struggle today. He goes on to say, who can rescue me from this? And, and he goes on and he, and he explains that um, Jesus has destroyed the old mindset, uh, the old mindset that was, was um, there by, by sin. And, and a mindset uh, is, is um, a mindset is kind of like a set of laws um, that has all kinds of things involved with it. It has uh, smells and tastes and, and experiences and memories and, and everything. It's just together and, and it's like this path that you, you have no choice but to walk. That's what you're familiar with, so that's what you walk. And that's, that, that's a mindset. Your mind is set in, the, in this behavior, in this pattern. And um, he destroyed that. He destroyed that. He destroyed our obligation to that. He destroyed our, our, our slavery to that and instead um, set up a new mindset for us um, that is by the Holy Spirit, that is based on, on righteousness. We are empowered by righteousness. Righteousness has been declared over us. We've been empowered by that. Now to live, we are obligated to the Holy Spirit. We are free. We can choose our obligations. We can choose who, who our, our master is. Um, and, and, and by that, that's, uh, Paul explained that he, he was using human terms to try to get across that, that, um, that relationship that really has no, no parallels, no, no it, it's a poor comparison is what, what Paul is saying, is a master and slave. Because we're more than that. We're friends with God. We're the children of God. We're, we're master-slave is not really the best um, way to describe it. But how do you describe a relationship that includes uh, master-slave, friend, uh, children, <laughs> heirs? It's kind of kind of hard. Uh, and, and Paul describes the, the law as being like that that uh, um, uh, person who who looked after and raised it when a child is 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 too young to come into their own and they have somebody who set over them um, that's what the law is like and then jesus brought us into uh, maturity brought us into the relationship where our obligation is love our obligation is is uh, is, is is the holy spirit and we are empowered it's just oh, man it's hard to articulate this we are just empowered um, we are empowered, people. We are empowered. We are empowered, and, and the Holy Spirit is so positive towards us. It's just, He is so positive towards us. There's no negativity. He has no negative thought about us whatsoever. Um, we may have negative thoughts, but we don't, we're not thinking of ourselves as God thinks of us, as Dad thinks of us. Um, 
we have no, we have, we, we, we don't understand that sin has been vanquished. It, it has been destroyed. It has no power over us. And although we may still sin, it has no power over us. And it's a matter of cleaning up the mess. And God, that, that's grace. Grace has, the grace again is that enabler that, uh, that enables us to be in this relationship. Um, and, and it comes with power and, and the power of righteousness. And it's just like, wow, it's all, it's just like, The Holy Spirit is there to empower us to overcome and to see as God sees and to understand the, who the Father says we are and, and to live that and to live that. And there should be no negative, no negative thought in our head towards ourselves or towards anybody else. There should be no negative, no judgment, nothing of the sort in us, found in us whatsoever because of what Jesus Christ has done. If God is for us, who can be against us? <laughs> if God is for us, who can be against us, people? Ah, oh, I wish, listen, just, just go back, read chapter six, seven, and eight, and, and, and because I can't do it any justice at all. I, I, I'm supposed to be a communicator of these things, but I'm just so done in right now by the Holy Spirit. You just have a fantastic day. I'm looking forward to meeting everybody for worship today. And we'll see what the, we'll see what God has planned for us, right? It's nothing but good. Nothing but good. God bless.